But yeah, man, I'm back. You know what I'm saying? I had to delete some video files. <clears throat> but, you know, back to what the fuck I was talking about, man. So, but yeah. This is why I'm telling in the video. Don't forget to go Hollywood, my G. Don't forget to go Hollywood. Because what's going to happen is, right? You see, when people make it to the top, when people make it to the top in life, what's going to happen is, what's going to happen is, people tend to forget. And the reason as to why people tend to forget, and what I mean by forgetting is, they're going to bring those same individuals that didn't, that didn't believe that they was going to make it. They're going to look at them same individuals. They're going to bring them same individuals that didn't believe they was going to make it. They're going to bring them same individuals that was laughing at them. They're going to bring those same individuals that was hating on them. They're going to bring them same individuals that was looking at them in a funny ass, oh, you different ass motherfucking way. They're going to bring them same individuals that just simply thought they couldn't live the life of their dreams with them to the motherfucking top this is what people do out in this bitch and the reason as to why people do it is simply because what happens when you make it to the top your life is in order so when your life is in order right everything is all lovey-dovey sunshine of roses and shit here you go every single day every single day you're thinking all positive and it's a very great thing to think positive real shit i'm a positive ass thinker too and trust me when i get back on my a game I'm thinking positive like a motherfucker. But this is what happens though. Everybody, you you just thinking all positive and shit. You feeling all positive. You feeling you feeling all kind, lovey dovey. You're you're gonna you're gonna have a vibe. You're gonna have a good vibe. You know what I'm saying? I'm just telling you what it is. You're gonna have a vibe of love. And when you're vibing out of love, what's gonna happen is to all those people that doubted you at one point in time, right? Here, here you go. Yeah, you might have this, this is what you're gonna do. This is what most people do. Yeah, you might have not believed in me back in the day, but it's all good though. I love you. To a person that probably rejected you back in the day. Oh, yeah, you might have rejected me back in the day, but it's all good though. It's it's all good. I love you. You you could come with me. To all the people that was hating on your ass, that was doubting you, that to all the people that was laughing at you, yeah, you might have done all of that back in the day. But I'm winning now. You could come. You could come. You could come. Man, fuck all of these motherfuckers. I ain't, I'm not bringing a goddamn soul. I came through the motherfucking mud. I came through the struggle. I'm not talking about... No, I'm, I'm going to tell you. I came through the financial struggle. You know what I'm saying? Like... You know, I wasn't born in the struggle. Like, you know, I, I wasn't born in the projects or nothing like that. But at the end of the motherfucking day, I still went through the struggle. I had to make my own. I got to make my own. I got to make my own money to become rich. I ain't getting no motherfucking handout. That's a problem with people that's from the, um, there's no shade to anyone. But all I'm saying is, you know, people think just because you've been born in the suburbs or some shit like that, you just got to, you just got to made. Motherfuck, no. I ain't, motherfucker ain't, motherfuckers ain't had me no damn money. Trust me. Motherfucker, if I was handed $100,000 on some shit, I would not be making this video. I won't hand it shit out. Motherfucker, I was broke. I'm, t I'm telling you what it is. But point I'm trying to get across, though, point I'm trying to get across is, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, when people make it to the top, they tend to forget when they had haters in their life. When people when people make it to the top, they tend to, they tend to forget that those same people that was down their ass, they brought them motherfuckers with them. And they know they brought them with them. But what's gonna happen is is what I just said. You're gonna have a vibration of kindness. You're gonna have a kind vibe. You're gonna have a kind mentality. Everything I'm telling you, this is what's gonna happen when you're winning. When you're winning, everything is all lovey dovey, sunshine and roses. Everybody wanna start dancing. Everybody wanna go outside. Here go every every day is a sunny day. So every everyone when when they just go outside with your ass and some shit i'm telling you what it is but as soon as it start to rain on some shit that's when motherfuckers want to go inside oh i'm telling you i'm telling you the game and who cas it's, it's a youtuber it's a youtuber and a tiktoker named who casper he's like a financial um youtuber and basically he was he, he he was on instagram live one time and he was saying like you know he remember when he was he had so much money on him right he brought all his homies and shit like that with him right you know what i'm saying they was at you know, i don't know where the fuck they was at like a casino or some shit but he was just hitting so much money right and then you know all, all his homies were, were, was with him but as soon as all that money motherfucking faded away them motherfuckers are dead so point i'm trying to get across is you could be at the top of your game and you could fall the fuck off and when you're on top of the game you'll see these motherfuckers fake ass colors these mo i'm telling you these motherfuckers gonna be the same way that you are kind positive lovey dovey when you when you're when when you start acting right that's when these motherfuckers want to start acting right 
But as soon as you start acting motherfucking left, these motherfuckers want to leave your motherfucking ass too. I'm not telling... Everything it is I'm talking about, I'm, I'm, I'm literally seeing it with my own eyes. I'm speaking from experience in this bitch. Trust me, man. I know I know how motherfuckers... Look, man, to all my people that's on the come up, it could be with, like, entrepreneur... Like, it could, it, could, it could be with you trying to attain the life of your dreams, trying to be the best version you can be. And also, it could come with you, like, let's say you woke with some shit. Like, I already used a woke example earlier. You know what I'm saying? You just awaken to, like, what's really going on. What's going to happen is these motherfuckers going to be looking at your ass like you cuckoo. These motherfuckers going to be looking at your ass like you changed up, like you different. Meanwhile, you just in the process of trying to get your life together on some shit. They're going to say, oh, I miss the old you. Motherfucker, I'm still the same me. But they, that's how they're going to look at you. They're going to look at you like that. I miss the old you. Oh, you need the old you to come back. Oh, you switched up. Oh, you changed. Oh, you ain't doing shit with your life. Oh, what the fuck are you doing with your life? Oh, you just broke. Then, then, you know, they, I'm telling you, man, this how I be. This how I be when you want to come up. These motherfuckers going to be disrespecting the fuck out of your ass. As soon as you make it to the top, though, these motherfuckers want to start acting right. Man, fuck all of these motherfuckers. I'm, tell, I'm telling you the game, bro. I'm telling you, get, make it to the top. See what's going to happen. I'm telling you. Because me personally, I'm gonna make it to the top. I told you, I'm literally 98% there. I'm, I'm literally like 98% to the top of some shit. It's only 2% left I gotta master. Like I told you in the first video, one, consistency, and two, manifestation. When I master consistency, I'm on a winning streak for the rest of my life. When you are on a winning streak for the rest of your life or some shit, that's how you're truthfully gonna win. I, it don't matter if you win just for a day or two days. No, that don't matter. Because you can go back to your losing, like I just told you, it's it's easy to it's easy to make it. Well, it's not easy to make it to the top, but when you make it to the top, it's very easy to fall off. Oh, I'm speaking from experience. I was on top of my A game. I fell off multiple times out in this bitch because it's easy to fall off. But that's why you need to be on a winning streak. That's why you need to be on a streak. That's why you need to be consistently winning. That's the only winning that matters. Consistent winning, winning streak, forever winning. But that's that's one percent I gotta get done and manifestation. When I manifest every single thing it is I want and I'm on I'm on a winning streak, I'm I'm that I'm the perfect human out in this bitch. But yeah, man, so but that's basically where the fuck it is I'm at. I'm only got two percent love I gotta get done. But other than that though, man, let me use another example right quick. So it's this movie called Lottery Ticket, right? It, um, the movie Lottery Ticket came out back in like 2010. It, it was with um, Bow Wow. They call him Shad Moss now. You feel me? And um, basically, um, like at the beginning of the movie, right? At the, at the beginning of the movie, before Bow Wow won the lottery, Bow Wow, had, Bow wow was going through the struggle. Bow Wow was in a hood. Bow Wow, you know what I'm saying? It was, you know, um, you know, he was getting bullied and shit. Or, you know, um, the people from the hood, they weren't fucking with Bow Wow. They was clowning him and shit like that. You know, um, also it was Bow Wow. Also, Bow Wow, um, it was a... It was like, you know, the most popular girl in the in, in the hood. You know what I'm saying? The popular girl on their block. You know what I'm saying? She was pretty too. You know what I'm saying? Popular and pretty. You know what I'm saying? Um, basically, Bow Wow, he wanted her. You know what I'm saying? She ain't won Bow Wow. <laughs> I'm telling you what it is. You feel me? Um, With some other things. He was going through like family struggles and shit like that. Bow Wow was just going through the struggle. AKA the come up process. Bow Wow was going through the struggle. And uh, basically, Bow Wow, he, did, he decided to go, I think it was like a gas station and shit like that. And basically, Bow Wow, he decided he wanted to get a lottery ticket. And, uh, you know, basically, every, you know, also, you know, you know, before I even get there, though, but, you know, it was things that Bow Wow wanted to buy as well. My opponent trying to get across um, Bow Wow, he went, to, he went to like the gas station or some shit like that. He wanted to get a lottery ticket. And uh, basically, he played, the, he played the numbers and they, they showed the numbers on TV or some shit like that. And um, basically... Bow Wow won. Bow Wow won all the all the winning numbers on that lottery ticket. Hence the movie called Lottery Ticket. And basically, <laughs> remember what I just told you Bow Wow was going through all them struggles in the beginning of that movie? As soon as Bow Wow heard them winning numbers on that lottery ticket, right? Look to all popped up outside. The the street, the street dudes that, that was that was um that was that was clowning him bullying him or laughing at him all at his door 
uh, the people it, the people it was that he was having problems with, you know, the struggles he was having problems and, um, with people with, you feel me? Um, it was all at his door. You feel me? Um, you know, the girl that Bow Wow always wanted, she wanted Bow Wow now. Uh, with some other things, you know, you know, when it comes to like materialistic wise, you know, the things he, he wanted to buy, he could get them now. You feel me? But point I'm trying to get across though, <laughs> that's how it be when you start winning though. That's how it be. When you start winning, these motherfuckers gonna be right there, just like how, just like in that movie, lottery ticket. They gonna be right there waiting for a fucking handout. And they gonna be the same ones before you had before you had what it is that you had that they want the handout from before you had all of that. Those gonna be the same ones that was laughing at you, bullying you, rejecting you, hating on you. You know, didn't believe that you was doing shit with your life. This this is real life. This is how it be. Whole lot of people went through this shit. I ain't just talking about my. I ain't. Just, I ain't just talking about my, uh, myself specifically. I'm just talking about this is what this is what happens when you are in the come up journey. When you're in the come up journey, this is how you're going to get treated. Because and you want another way I could put it is when you're broke, you don't get no respect. But when you're rich, you get all the respect in the world. When you're rich, right, I'm telling you, that's basically what the lottery ticket was or, you know, basically when you win the lottery. But, you know, when you're rich, right, that's when people want to be on their best behavior when you're rich. When you're broke, though, these motherfuckers don't want to be on their best behavior. You see motherfuckers true colors out in this bitch. I'm speaking from experience. So. <sighs> but yeah, man. Um, I think I got my point across. Like I said, man, this, this honestly, man, this video... This, this is like a video to myself as well and some shit simply because one thing about me man one thing about me like i just told you i don't know if i said it in this in this part or the last part but one thing i was talking about like i said when you start to win right when you start to get on your a game in life i already know what's gonna happen i'm gonna have i'm gonna have a good vibe to me you know what i'm saying i'm gonna have a good vibe and i'm gonna have i'm gonna have a vibe of kindness i'm gonna have a vibe of positivity i'm gonna have a vibe of, of um of love i already know i'm gonna have it so when i have that right I'm going to start to let shit slide. Fuck all of that shit. I'm making these motherfuckers regret it. I'm making... Me personally, man, I'm making these motherfuckers regret it out in this bitch. And that's also... Not, that's the last thing I'm going to talk about. You see, to all the people that ain't believe in you back in the day, to all the people that probably left, um, laughed at you, left you... Or, you know, low-key hating on you. To all the people that, you know, let's say you was in a relationship or something like that, right? To all the people that cheated on you, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, just left you or some shit. Or, you know, whatever example you could think of. To all of those individuals, right? To all those individuals. You see, I made a video about this, like, almost a month ago or some shit like that. I say this. The best revenge. The best revenge is not to get mad at them individuals and say, fuck you or you know do some wild ass shit like end up on the news type shit you know because i'm telling you this is what you know this is what this is what most people this is what most people do if they have like a falling out with their best friend or some shit like that you know what i'm saying motherfucker they end up on the news i'm telling you what it is or you know if, if someone cheated on them or some shit like that no look man you don't you don't get your revenge back by saying fuck all of them or or on or, or, or um you know Ending up on the motherfucking news. No, that's not how you get your revenge back. You get your revenge back when you are rich and successful. That's how you truthfully get your revenge back. So let me use an example right quick. Them same, them, look man, them same people that's probably rejecting you right now, right? They probably rejecting you left and right right now. You probably, you probably don't even know why the fuck they're doing it. It don't matter. You don't need to know why. But them same people that's probably rejecting you left and right right now. You don't get your revenge back by saying, fuck them, or you don't get your revenge back by hating the opposite gender. No, you get your revenge back when you are successful with the opposite gender, and it's not even just that. When you are rich and successful in life, that's how you truthfully get your revenge back. You don't get your revenge back on the people that doubted you by saying, fuck them, and just fuck you forever, and you know, just being homeless and not doing shit with your life. You're living up to their expectations. No. You get your revenge back on your doubters when you are rich and successful and you are shitting on them. And that's all it is I'm talking about, man. My goal is to be rich and successful and shit on these motherfuckers. 
My goal is to shit on these peons. My goal is to be rich and successful and basically make these motherfuckers regret it and me forgetting about these motherfuckers. While they live in regret, I'ma forget about their ass and I'ma live I'ma live my best life out in this bitch. Rich and successful. The image of success. And that's how you get your revenge back. You don't get your revenge back by being some damn loser and just, oh, it's fucked them. Oh, I'ma just be broke. I hate them. Motherfucking no. You get your revenge back when you are shit on these motherfuckers. When you are stunting on them. That's how you get your revenge back. And that's another reason so why I'm telling the video, don't forget to go Hollywood. You, 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 you be the best, you be the best individual you could be and you live out your best life out in this bitch while they're living out their stress life. And they got to look at you and they got to say, oh, I wish I never would have doubted him. Oh, I wish I never would have um, rejected him. Oh, I wish I would have never hated him or hated him. Oh, I wish I never would have said any sly remarks. Yeah, make them feel that way because when you make it to the top, don't forget that shit. Don't forget, don't forget what the fuck it is that forget these motherfuckers, but don't forget what they said. Don't do not forget what it is that they said because you, you cannot bring their ass.